and then we tried to what do you call I think some different uh, uh, subjects uh, through my universities. The World Heritage Site. How that World Heritage Site design? The World Heritage Site. It must have uh, the very ancient natural uh, structures such as mountains, waterfalls, rivers, jungles, gardens, and so on. Or presented to the artificial design that is similar to sanctum and sanctorium at practically. Just we go through just an example, in 1967, the year 1967, the day that we have constituted uh, through UNESCO, the World Heritage Site, declared by UNESCO. Now just we go through the matter. Yeah, yes, just see, this is Mount Kailash, this milky color, milky, what do you call it? I see mountain milky color. This is the uh, uh, what do you call it? Swan Parvat or the Golden Mount. This is Mount Everest, Mount Nilakan, Mount Annapurna, Mount Manda, Mount Vindhya, Mount Meru. And this is Nandi Parvat. This is the Sri Jyotima Parvat. And uh, what do you call it? This is the uh, uh, very low, each uh, very long distance. This is called as Siva Parvat. The, here, the, the, that is the four face uh, mountain. And uh, this is Panchmogi Parvat. That is five face mountain. And this is the Brahm Parvat. This is Vishnu Parvat. Brahm Parvat is the bottom. And the top is the Vishnu Parvat. And now we see the, and the angles of all these matters, like by little today. There are so many waterfalls, rivers, Ganges, sacred Ganges, Yamuna, uh, Saraswati, Brahmaputra, Sindhu. Here we can see there's the Ganges flows, that is from Siva Parvat. Siva Parvat, the Ganges flows from east to west. And from which to Parvat to which the Jamuna flows. And it's the same from the east direction. From east to west, the Brahma Saraswati from Brahma Parvat. Brahma Saraswati river from Brahma Parvat. Vishnu Jamuna from Vishnu Parvat. And Shiva Ganga from Shiva Parvat. And other than that, from the Pandyamukhi Parvat, there are two main rivers flows. One is Brahma Putra. Other one is Sindhu. It is similar to Manapa's structure. Uh, and more than that, the natural designs are there. You can see the, what you call, flower gardens, fruit gardens, and herbal jungles, and herbal mountains. These are the natural designs, the her herbal uh, well, heritage sites to design. In the ground, all these matters are there like Cottages are in the form of pyramid shapes, and the sanctum and sanctuarium also in the same, same pyramid shape. That is the example for the Trabakeshwar in the ground. And cottages are there. This is Gaudapati Bhagwan shrines more than 2,500 years with Pansal X sacred Bodhi tree. And next to the Bodhi tree, the Dillard University is Nalanda University. That is the rocks. Now everything is missing here in the side. And in the other side close to the application, you can see that the wedding hall, the, the dining hall and school. And in the southern direction you can see uh, what you call a music school, dancing school, international auditorium and Lord of Pond. Just in front of uh, Application three reverse way. It is the natural design in the ground. The top, all the peaks, sacred peaks are there. That is why they have declared as well heritage site by UNESCO. 
is a Dutty College in 1967. So it is something, uh, a rare atmosphere. Now just we go to the another uh, Mount Kailash view. This is called, this is like a golden and Jalokal Mount, Mount Kailash view. Yeah, the top Everest mountain ranges the Himalayas and Svanaparvat, Sarajwatima, everything is there as it is. The only changes of Mount Kailash, different, different color form is due to reflection of the sunlight. And that is the beauty of Mount Kailash. Here, these are the roofs of Earth, sacred mountains, ranges of Himalayas, Mount Kailash. And the Panjamukhi Parvat and Satma Parvat, Brahma Parvat, Siva Parvat, Vishnu Parvat, and all these are the roofs of the earth. The roofs and ground. If the house, if there is a house is there, there must be proper ground base. That's a beautiful location. Then the roof must be there. There are also the beautiful natural designs and designs. Both means wonderfully this location. That is why they have declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1967. Uh, we can go through another matter of Mount Kailash. You can see the, 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 the yellow mount, yellow color formation of Mount Kailash. We have the Ganges flows. We can see little classic to Matsarova. Matsarova. Actually, Mount Kailash, the original state of Mount Kailash, is uh, Sastikam. That is dinosaur blossom longevity. Not from the Lord Shiva. Okay, actually, Mount Kailash blossom from uh, what do you call uh, Jainism, where the Sustikam originates. Original Sustikam originates from Mount Kailash. And uh, God Shiva is the blossoms and the mountain ranges of Himalayas, like Everest mountains. It's a sort of power and Pajamaki Parvat and India. This is the original location. Jainism, Jains. I will come back later on. A little with some documentary evidence. And now we see another view of Mount Kailash. This is like what you call golden and uh, violet and blue color and ash color and milky color Mount Kailash. Due to different sunlight, it reflects like, just like that. These are the matters. Uh, and other one I will. Ah, this is Swastikam. This is the Mount Kailash, the very ancient construction. Actually, it is also I was dwelling for six months there, uh, just after birth. And the peak of Himalayas uh, on the Everest bed one day, and, uh, and Swarnaparvat one day. And the Nilakan and the Purna and the Swami. This is the Swastikam design originally in Mount Kailash. This is the main entrance, one side. This is the entrance, this is the entrance, this is the entrance. This is the original structure of Mount Kailash peak, top of the peak. Netaji is original birth base and birthplace. And Mount Kailash peak naturally, naturally designed in Swastikam form. The natural design, how wonderful you know, everything that you know, the rocky stones. We don't know the age of this uh, structure, this type of old structure, it must be more than millions of years ago. Uh, where the origin of Chinese blossoms, the Sustikum blossoms. Now we come to the other details. Uh, there is myself, I was uh, while I was uh, discovering all this matter. I'll make sure that while I was silently doing all the actual Sastikam from uh, Mount Kailash. This is Dhamma Chakra from uh, some of the sacred mounts like Padmukhi Parva. This is the uh, Omkara. Uh, and I will try to come back later on how that beautifully gets naturally designed. Actually, Swastikam originates from Mount Kailash, that is the beauty. And the historians, they made a big blunt. Uh, they made a big blunt. Uh, original Jainism springs from sacred mountains of Mount Kailash. I will show again 
total destruction. Mount Taylor's Peak naturally designed swastika structure for the big coin. That is the beauty of it. Okay, thank you. I will meet again. Yeah, this is the beautiful location. I am again and again explaining for my best friends, friends, close friends, and devotees. There are some Vedic hymns are going on behind. You can uh, listen nicely. Uh, I'll show the back a little by little. Okay, I will meet again later on with some other files and with uh, the discoveries and other documents. May, may God bless with uh, this grace and long life to all my best friends, friends, global, global audience, close friends and your audience. Thank you. You can listen some musical files.